and gentlemen, here on our screen is the girl that is England's outstanding box office attraction. This is Miss Diana Doors in a scene from her latest picture, Alligator Named Daisy. And here she is in a close-up from Value for Money. I first met Miss Doors at Pinewood Studios. It was last week. I was on my way to makeup and... Ah, good morning, Rembrandt. Here's your latest masterpiece. <laughs> How are you this morning, Chesney, old fig? You're late. Late? Not, in, not according to the studio schedule. <laughs> Says makeup at 8.30. That's right. Makeup at 8.30. 7.30 for reconstruction work. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one, Chez. One more like that, and you'll be back greasing the gong man for J. Arthur Rank. Good morning, Alfie. Good morning, Miss Dawes. Well, say. Who is that? That is Diana Doors. Doors? Sounds like something on a house. <laughs> Believe me, sir, no home should be without one. <laughs> Who is that? That? Well, that's just an actor. Uh, he thinks he's America's answer to Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> he's obviously been standing too near the hot lights. <laughs> Yes, they call her England's Marilyn Monroe. Really? Do you find any resemblance? Well, for one thing, they're both girls. <laughs> Anything else? Why be fussy? <laughs> He's an American, isn't he? Yes. He says he lives in California. Know where it is? California? Mm. Oh, yes, that's the capital of Brooklyn. <laughs> Savage race, know absolutely nothing about making tea. I want you to introduce me to her, Chesney. Oh, not just now, Mr. Hope. What's wrong with now? Well, it's just that our two nations are getting along so well together. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I don't need you. I'll take care of it. I'll show you how a man of the world operates. Hello? Get me the studio florist. Yes, this is Bob Hope. I want my regular delivery. Yes, speed is of the essence. Now, Mr. Doors. I say, Mr. Who? Wait. Now, Mr. Doors. My word, Mr. Who? Wait. Now, Mr. Doors. Good heavens, Mr. Who? Wait. <laughs> Those are mine. <laughs> At least when she's through with them, she can make some dandelion wine. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Hope. Oh, the line is forming again, yes. I'm Diana Dawes. May I shake your hand? It's shaking now. Just hang on. <laughs> I hate to trouble you after the beautiful flowers and everything, but may I have your autograph? It's for my girlfriend. <laughs> for a girlfriend. Why do they all pretend? <laughs> I, I wouldn't ask for myself, but you see, I have to humor her because uh, she's not quite all there. <laughs> uh, well, I know who is. <laughs> Wait, uh, could I escort you back to your dressing room by yeah. any chance? Of course. Well, let's take a shortcut past the audience. They're so lovely when they're in bloom, huh? Do they? You know, it's just wonderful meeting you. Diana, because, I don't know, you've always been one of my favorites, and you look so glamorous, and that's a beautiful dress you have on. This? Yes. I just threw it on. You just threw it on? Mm-hmm. Cleveland should have pitching like that. <laughs> you know, 
I've always uh, wanted to meet you after I read that article about you in Time magazine. Oh, really? What did they write? Well, they wrote just the drab details of your everyday life, like your uh, pewter lawnmower and your D-shaped swimming pool and your life-size oil painting of the English Channel, things like that. <laughs> Well, Bob, you know how it is. You have to do these things for publicity. Yes, well, I feel that I'm kind of past that. You know, I live in a very unobscure cottage. Really? It sounds perfect. No, not quite. Uh, you know, when the neon signs flash, they sort of wake up the seals in the fountain. You know, you have those <laughs> nights. You're just joking. What? You're just joking. Don't tell me. Tell them. <laughs> No, but I've wondered, why don't you come to America, Miss Doris? Oh, I don't know. After all, what have I got to offer? <laughs> How can a girl like that be so mixed up on the inside? <laughs> Seriously, you don't have to worry about talent at all, because talent is welcome everywhere, just like how London flipped over me. Oh, really? Tell me, how many fans met you at the airport? 10,000? Well, uh... 5,000? Uh, well, uh, one thousand? Well, how many? What a day my Aunt Pamela picked to be sick. <laughs> You're making a picture over here, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm working at Pinewood, and I'm doing... Uh, it's being produced by Betty Box. Oh. Oh, well, that accounts for the headline in the London Times this morning. Headline? Mm -hmm. It says, Bob Hope's latest picture headed for Pinewood Box. <laughs> I can just hear him nailing the lid shut. <laughs> no, but I'm really enjoying this picture out there. Well, what's the name of it? Well, I thought you'd never ask. It's with Catherine Hepburn, and his tenant will be titled The Iron Petticoat. Stand by with blowtorches, and it's very nice. <laughs> no, it's, it's a very nice picture. It's really called Not For Money. I, they, they haven't made up their mind about it, but it's a different kind of a story. It's sort of a democracy versus communism, and it's sort of a girl meets borscht. Democracy versus communism. Well, who wins? Who wins? Mm -hmm. What was that? Senator McCarthy. He wants to hear the next line. <laughs> you know, Diana, since I met you, I've been thinking about something. Oh, Bob, what are you trying to say? Well, I've been thinking of a date with a very beautiful girl. Well, that's funny, because I've been thinking of a date with a very charming man. Well, this girl happens to be a very lovely British movie actress. And this man happens to be the world's most talented comedian. Oh. Bob, would you call a cab? A cab? What for? I have my car. Should we go? We? Yes, the lovely British actress and the talented comedian. Don't you... Fifty million Frenchmen, and I had to pick that one. 